So if it's natural that sometimes we emphasize one side strongly, how do I know what is like a healthy kind of well? This is what it's what it's time for, and and when is it actually unhealthy or like something that makes sense to address? Right. Yeah, that's that's a great question. That's the question, <laughs> basically. And again, I think there is no way of knowing like with clarity always. But what we can do is to find the right support that while I'm living in these questions, or sometimes it's real struggles, that I find the right support to get the right information. And this is sometimes like a practice that I know how to come back to myself, how to actually understand the inner workings of my, of my psyche, of my thinking, and a lot of my, my emotions and a, a lot of my, of my embodied reality of my nervous system, of my body. So I, I get the signals of my inner system that is like part of the GPS of being alive in, um, in the world. And the other part is where also men's groups come into play is I cannot do this alone only. I think this is a completely flawed perception of life that we have to do it alone. We're not built like this and life's not working like this. Mm -hmm. We need to have the capacity to fully turn to myself, just with myself, like I do in meditation or in, or in contemplation or body work or exercising. And I also need reaching out and connecting with you right now or with somebody else um, that I'm through the interaction get more information you know when I share with you or when I share with the person that I trust while I speak I'll get more clear and what you will say to me and when we have a shared practice to not just exchange opinions that's mostly not so helpful or just tell the other what they should do because that comes mostly out of my own unconscious <laughs> uh, and integrated impulses but when we have a shared practice we can actually use the relationship the connection the contact to get clearer both of us and then without knowing before i will actually on the way understand like ah yeah this has more energy or this feels really alive like it has an impulse and then you get a signal again from your insight and if you know how to relate to and understand the signals from inside and then you can bring it in contact suddenly your your life like your your life and you're aligned like your gps is on because it's like driving with your car you can have an amazing gps but if there is no signal difficult you, you're kind of lost maybe you have a lot of signal but no gps which is your your body and yeah. signal is kind of like a connection to the information of life. Also, you can't do much about it. But if you're, if you're here and you can listen to yourself, and you learn that, and you're connected, you get access to the information, then you're on. Mm -hmm. And then you can learn step by step, like every turn, you know, okay, now I have to turn left, I have to turn right. Mm -hmm. And this is different than just living from concepts. Normally, we would like to know what to do. <laughs> we, that's how we grew up. That's how we got taught, you know, like to learn a concept and then to apply it. So the concepts are also important. They give us a bit of structure and orientation. But living means then like being in the movement of relating to the information that comes from the outside and that comes from the inside. So that's the, it's basically a practice. There is no, there is no answer as such.